Hey, my name's Jason Creel, and you're watching The Lawn Care Life. Hey, you know, sometimes you have a perfect looking lawn, and then you have big brown spots that show up in the lawn. Sometimes it's hard to figure out what exactly causes a brown spot in a lawn. Today, I want to talk to you about some of the common reasons that you may have brown spots in your lawn. Stay tuned. Now, whether this is in your own lawn or in somebody else's lawn, you want to ask yourself, some questions to try to figure out what causes that brown spot in the lawn. So, you know, things to ask yourself about is, what has the weather been like lately? Uh, what is the shape of the brown spot? How long has the brown spot been there? Is the brown spot contained to one area or is it all over the yard? Is the brown spot an annual problem or has it just been here for one year? Is there anything different that's been done to the lawn lately that may have led to this brown spot you ask yourself some diagnostic questions or maybe you're in the business and you're asking a potential customer you know some of these questions to see if you know you can figure out get a little bit more information to maybe give you a clue on what caused the brown spot uh, if you can't tell from obviously by looking at it all right so common causes of brown spots in your yard uh, one common one that you're going to see is when your dog pees in the yard now this one's a little bit tricky, okay, because I had somebody ask me the other day, they say, hey, I got these, you know, really dark green spots in my grass where the grass just looks, you know, healthier and, and a darker color green. He said, what do you think is causing that? I said, I'm pretty sure that's where your dog's been peeing in the yard. Well, in other situations, you got brown spots in your yard where the dog's been peeing in your yard. Think of it this way, it's like if I fertilize my yard, it turns it a, a darker green and healthier color. If I over fertilize my yard, it turns it brown. So if you, you know, may have a smaller backyard where you have one or two dogs back there and they keep peeing in the same spot, you know, it's gonna eventually turn it brown. Uh, where if you have a, a larger area and a dog kind of moves around, you may have some actually some darker green spots. So it's kind of like fertilizing. Fertilize the right amount makes it darker green. You fertilize too much makes it brown. Could be dog pee. I want to show you an example of another reason where you might have brown spots in your yard. All right, you see here there's a brown spot in the yard and you can see actually some of the grass has turned a yellow tint. And this is another common reason to see brown spots. And that's where you've had damage to the lawn from a herbicide. So in this particular situation, you can tell that um, this grass is, has been partially damaged in some areas and in some areas it has been altogether killed. So, you know, you think to yourself, has there been a, some sort of herbicide applied in this area that has caused potential damage? Sometimes you'll see a homeowner and they want to get rid of the weeds in their yard so they get, you know, Roundup or some type of glyphosate product. They just go out there and start spraying the weeds and they leave a lot of brown spots in their yard so that is another potential reason another common cause of brown spots in the yard is fungus so if you see here you've got some healthier turf here and as you move over a lot of brown spots a lot of fungus in this yard and what can happen is you know when we have a lot of rain and uh, the conditions are stay moist it can lead to uh, fungus issues now, sometimes you can apply a fungicide to slow down the damage uh, or if you know that this is an annual problem, you can apply it ahead of time to hopefully prevent it. You know, like you can apply a fungicide in the fall to hopefully reduce the chances of getting a fungus the following spring. Hopefully, as the weather uh, dries up and gets hot, then uh, the lawn will begin to recover from the damage. But again, no another common reason you might see brown spots in your lawn. Sometimes on, on our Bermuda lawns, here in the south when it gets hot you'll have dollar spot which is you know a, a little small typically little small brown patches on the yard they're mostly just cosmetic and a lot of times when you fertilize the lawn it'll you know grow out and a lot of times when you cut the grass it'll uh, take the brown spots away another problem that can cause brown spots in the lawn is simply uh, drought problems you know if you're just not having enough water and, you know a lot of times that here you know it can happen uh, in the summer when it's very hot and you're not getting proper water not enough rain not enough irrigation 
you start seeing some discoloration in the grass and then eventually it can turn the grass brown. Doesn't always mean that it's dead, uh, but it, it can definitely turn brown. And if eventually, if it doesn't get enough water, then it will die. But a lot of times the grasses will turn brown, um, sort of switching into a survival mode. Uh, and then when you get rain, you'll see the grass respond back. But yeah, and I wanted to elaborate on that a little bit. This is the way it's been explained to me. Sometimes you'll see in a certain area, you'll have uh, something, a, a part of the grass that'll dry out quicker than others. For instance, I can think back to one particular yard and we had a really dry spell and this one big section of the lawn that you could draw a straight line on was turning brown and the rest of the yard looked fine and I thought well this is unusual and it was up close to the road well the neighbor came over and he actually explained to me he said yeah you know you see that part that's brown he said there's very little topsoil there he said it's uh, cement under that that leads to a drain and so he said, I bet if you put a shovel down there, you just have only a few inches of topsoil before you hit concrete. And sometimes that happens. You have a situation where there's something going on underneath the ground. You know, it, another one is if, if you have a, a tree that's been cut down and you have a decaying stump and it can, you know, the grass just never will really grow in that area because of that decomposing stump you know you may have uh, some reason where the top where the dirt is just very shallow and what happens is when it gets dry that part has very shallow roots and it's going to be the quickest to dry out and the most susceptible to drought damage you know it may be a, a square area in your yard and it could be an area where you know there's a septic tank there or there's when the contractors built the house, they left some plywood under the ground or something that's causing uh, that, that particular area to suffer from drought damage when the rest of the yard may be fine. So again, look for shapes. That was what it, one way it was taught to me. You know, insects and diseases don't draw straight lines, okay? So if you've got a perfect straight line, uh, there's probably some other reason for your brown spot. On that note, another reason you might have brown spots in your lawn is bad mowing habits you know and again sometimes you'll see this this is what happens to us in the south sometimes uh, in the summer you'll have bermuda grass that's starting to grow very fast have plenty of rain and what happens is on a very hot day the grass gets cut and it's kind of unusual i don't know how to explain it but you'll see that it, it doesn't kill the Bermuda, but it really stuns it. I don't know if it's all the moisture trapped up in there. Something happens, but what you'll see is linear streaks of brownness in the lawn. Again, it's not an insect that's causing linear streaks because they don't draw straight lines. In that particular situation, it is mowing related. So, you know, when you need to cut your grass, uh, not taking quite so much. Obviously, if you scalp it, you can lead it to be brown too. Um, but I'm not necessarily talking about a scalping situation. Uh, it's just something with the Bermuda grass being extremely hot weather and all that moisture trapped up in there. Sometimes when you cut it, uh, it can lead to this situation where you have linear brown streaks in the lawn. Very unsightly. Of course, with Bermuda grass, it'll almost always recover, but it could be ugly for a little while. Another reason you might have brown spots in your lawn if you have some sort of insect damage. I can think about a situation I had last year, a zoysia lawn, and you know, it, it stumped me for a little bit. So I called a friend of mine who, who's an expert and I said, you know, took, took a picture and sent it to him. I said, what's going on with this situation? And it basically looked like there had been drought damage but the trick was we had plenty of rain and the, the particular yard had irrigation on it. So I was like, this is weird. This one spot looks like drought damage, uh, but it's got plenty of water. So I don't understand. And he said that, you know, basically a common sign of chinch bugs. And sure enough, I get to dig around there. I was actually able to see the chinch bugs. So that's when I learned about chinch bugs that basically if it looks like drought damage and yet you've had plenty of rain, then it could be chinch bugs, you know, so some insect damage can cause brown spots in your lawn. Another reason you might have a brown spot in your yard is somebody applied too much fertilizer and it killed the grass. I sometimes, uh, I remember seeing recently where a homeowner had went and bought some kind of weed and feed uh, at the store. And you know, sometimes the mentality is from homeowners that if a little bit is good, a lot must be great, you know, and so, 
you get out there and applying too much fertilizer, maybe even accidentally spill your fertilizer spreader, or you know somehow you get too much in one spot, well that fertilizer can uh, make a brown spot in the lawn. The good news is in that situation, I say good, I mean it's probably the grass around it that didn't die is going to have extra fertilizer and will probably uh, begin to fill in that brown spot quickly. If you got a brown spot in your yard, hopefully this video has helped you figure out what is causing it. Again, ask yourself those common questions. You know, what have I done different this year that I haven't done in the last year? Is this brown spot coming back every single year? You know, is my dog peeing in my yard? Is, are there straight lines in this brown spot or is it random patterns? Again, if it's straight lines, it may be some sort of man-made, something underground, maybe the lawnmower. But if it's irregular patterns, then maybe a fungus or some sort of insect-related problem. Once you figure out what's causing the problem, then you maybe can do a little research or talk to somebody and figure out, is this really just a cosmetic problem or is there potential for further damage to my lawn? I'm sure I'm leaving some off the list. You guys add to the list in the comments section. Of course, bare dirt, you know, is brown, so I'm no, but that's self-explanatory. If you hadn't done so, I would encourage you to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell beside the subscribe button. You'll be notified when I create new content. Thanks for watching. Check out these suggested videos.